more beautiful than the prettiest senorita. Pure solid gold. How much is worth? Oh, I'd guess between one hundred and forty and one hundred and eighty thousand dollars for the whole lot. Why do they make it into bricks? It's easier to ship. Only the big mining companies have the machinery to do it. Andrew here? Yes. Just visiting. Well, if you have any banking business, I'll be glad to serve you. It's not wise to carry much money or gold dust. You're kind of asking for trouble yourself, aren't you? A coach under armed guard will pick up the bricks this afternoon. Do you display the gold very often like this? Every cleanup day. It's a boost for the town and the bank. Yes, and also a boost for the honesty of the citizens of the town. Oh, well, there's plenty of crime here, but it's only the small miners carrying their own dust and nuggets that get robbed sometimes and killed. Well, what are you doing about it? We're bringing in a new sheriff from Arizona, Colonel Gage. You clean up the town. Oh, do you know him? Anybody who's ever been to Arizona has heard of Colonel Gage. Colonel Gage? Yes. The mayor sent me out to meet you. But is your mayor afraid that I'd get lost? Hardly. But he's planning a little celebration for your arrival. Well, it might be wise if we waited until I'd accomplished something before we start celebrating. The mayor wants all the bandits in the county to know you're on the job. I'll ride with you away, then go on ahead to tell the mayor to get ready. Well, have it your own way. He thinks he really is Colonel Gage. He said to bury him. What, with an abandoned mine just off the road? If we liked picking holes, we'd be miners. Help to grab hold of him. Sure. This company, it'll keep you out of trouble. I hope. You want to see me? No, I'd like to see Mayor Drury. You a friend of his? Yes, I happen to be in the section of the country, so I thought I'd drop in and say hello. What's your name? Kit Carson. I'm Cliff Morrow. I'm the mayor now. Oh? Mr. Drury's dead. He was shot. Who shot him? Well, we never found out. The sheriff had a lead and went to make an arrest. He was found killed, too, out near the mines. I hear you got a new sheriff coming in. Yeah, there had been too much crime around here. Your friend, Mr. Drury, suggested bringing in an ex-soldier, Colonel Gage. Looks like a quiet, peaceful little town. Oh, Green Valley is. But mining's changed things around here. Ten cities have sprung up near the mines. That's where the lawlessness comes from. Do I have the honor to address the mayor? Yes, sir. I'm Colonel Gage. You got my letter, I trust, from Sacramento saying I'd be here today? Well, yes, Colonel. We were expecting you. Is this gentleman my deputy? Oh, I wish he was. He's Kit Carson. Colonel Gage. Well, Kit Carson. Haven't we met? No. I never forget a face. But naturally, I've heard of you. Oh, you two must have business to talk over, so I'll say goodbye. Well, as a matter of fact, we have, but the uh, council's giving a banquet for the Colonel tonight. I'd like you to come. Be an honor, Kit. Thanks. I'll try. This one for a present for your senorita. Uh, it would not look so good on her. 
Senorita Carmelita, you're so beautiful that a grapefruit, see, even a turnip or a bunch of radishes would look lovely on your head. <laughs> you are a flatterer, senor. No, every word comes from the heart. Tell me the name of your senorita for whom you would buy this hat. If I know her, then I can show you something more becoming. Uh, you do not know her. Adorable. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, not that. You. Beautiful. But that hat is not quite right. Here. Look. <laughs> you like? <laughs> uh, Senorita Carmelita, I'd like you to meet Senor Kit Carson. A pleasure to meet you, Senorita. I'm very honored to meet you, Senor Kit Carson. I've heard so very much about you from El Toro. Oh, it's hard to believe that El Toro would waste any time talking about me. Come on, Toro, we got work to do. Now come back, both of you. What about the senorita's hat? Did he tell you he was going to buy a hat for a senorita? He told me this, but I hardly believe him. You were the senorita for whom I wished to buy that hat. Oh, you are very kind, but I hardly know you yet. Come on, Toro. Hey, you better give that lady a hat back. Town. So did I. I just met Colonel Gage, but he's an imposter. That fits in with a lot of things that Carmenita told me. The new mayor is a crook, too. I knew the real Colonel Gage, but this man's riding his horse. So I tied to a hit track up the street in front of the mayor's office. You mean they have? I don't know what they did to the real Colonel. He must have been waylaid somewhere between here and Sacramento. It's a long trail, kid. I won't get any shorter standing here. Let's go. Gage has a daughter. She's coming here, today. When that stage it gets in this afternoon. You'll have to meet the stage and bring her here. Grab her before she has a chance to talk to anyone. If Carson comes to the banquet, we'll have to have one of the boys get rid of him. He's dangerous. I'll I take care of it. Still think he must know Gage. Hey, Smokey, wake up. Wake up, I said. We better head back to town. We've been here long enough to take a couple of grades by now. through the trees. You know them? Not from this far away. Looks like they're tracking somebody. You better take cover till they get by. Come on, let's go. Who are they? Never saw them before. So 
Someone fell off a horse here. A couple more horses came in from off the trail. All right. Take him to that cabin. away. All right, get going. the colonel? Oh, he seems to be asleep. So right, I want you to ride to town. Find a countryman of yours that you can trust. Oh, senorita Carmelita. You sure you can trust her? Well, she does not like this new mayor. 
Neither do I. I got a feeling he's tied in somehow with the attempted murder of the colonel. He's been robbing and driving away my people. Carmelita told me that. Ride as fast as you can. And make arrangements for someone to take care of the colonel. Well, Carmelita will do that. And have a doctor ready. Oh, she'll also attend to that. And then come back here with a wagon. Fill the bottom of it with straw. I want to get the colonel into town without anybody knowing about it. I ride fast like anything. Get going. Colonel Gage will make your home with me until you've had time to find a house. Oh, fine. May I see my father now? Of course. He was too busy to meet the stage, but he'll certainly have a few minutes to give you. Colonel Gage, here's your daughter, Mary. I've never seen that man before. He's going to be all right. Where's the patient? Well, tell me, who is he? Colonel Gage. Why, you must be mistaken. I just left Sheriff Gage a few minutes ago. The man you met is an imposter. I gave him the keys to the bank. Why? Well, to relieve the guard when they have to eat. The fake sheriff knows he can't get away with his deception for too long. He and Morrow had this rigged up for a fast cleanup. Kit, the gold bricks. Well, but they know they couldn't get away with that. Why, the robbery would be discovered within an hour. If they're as smart as I think they are, they'll replace the real gold bricks with worthless duplicates. And then the robbery won't be discovered until it gets to the mint. You're right. And you and your guards will be accused of making the switch. Well, but what can we do? We've got to catch them red-handed. You can count on me. Mary. Mary. I don't want Mary. Who is Mary? His daughter. Oh, kid. I got a letter from Mary. She said she'd arrive at Green Valley by stage this afternoon. Where's the letter? In my coat with my other papers. We'll find you, daughter. Take it easy and stop talking. Come on, Toro. What is wrong? There were no papers in his pocket when we found him. You think Moro got them when he met the stage? I'm sure of it. Come on, Toro. Be careful, my brave one. Boys can go to eat now, and take your time. I haven't got a thing to do till I go to that official banquet tonight. Thanks, Colonel. in the place. We can go in any way we like, except the front door, which is heavily locked. We can search the whole place. Good. I'll go in through this window. You stay outside and give me a signal if anyone should come. I'll watch with eyes of a hawk. here yet. When Pecos and Smokey do get here, I'll give them a pistol whipping that'll bed them down for six months. No, 
just what happened to those two. They're in some new hangout, having a good time. Kit! Kit! Thank you. Thank you very much. You'll surely hear me now. I shouldn't be seen around there. But I'll do to that pinkest and smoke. They've already gone to the bank. Let's get going. I'm El Toro. Senor Moro, are you here to rob the bank? It would not be wise to shoot me. Even in Green Valley, gunshots attract attention. What do you want? Still, Mr. Morrow, I am a nervous man, not used to guns, and I have an uncontrollable twitch in my finger. Now get walking. Well, that's a lot. Cliff! Cliff Morrow! Put up your hands. Toro. He went away with the gold. But I think he'll be back. How's Colonel Gage? Oh, much better. I think the news that Carmelita brought has done the trick. I guess we could get you a more comfortable bed. Why don't we take him to Mr. Morrow's house? He won't be using it for a while. Well, what did you do with your prisoners? They're all in your jail. Cleve Saddle and 20 more men are guarding them. Good. Then we can eat. I'll fix the table right here. And for you, El Toro, I have frijoles, taquitos, enchiladas, Wait. guacamole. We forgot about the two men in the mine cabin. Oh, I haven't forgotten about them. You can bring out the food, Carmelita. They can eat. Mm -hmm. 